Hello. So a lot of people, including myself, until a few years ago, don't understand the difference between data analysis and data science. So the goal of today's video is that you won't have to ask this question again. So in this video, we're going to answer five important questions about data science and data analysis. And they are the difference between data analysis and data science. What does a data analyst do versus what does a data scientist do? So the job description. Number three is the skills required to be a data analyst versus a data scientist. Number four is coding required to be a data analyst versus a data scientist. And number five is their salaries. All right, so let's start with the definitions. Now, data analysis is the practice of working with data to extract meaningful or useful information, which can then be used to make informed decisions. Let's take an example for more clarity. Let's say you work as a data analyst for a home automation company. Based on the previous year's data, you notice that there is this certain X product that has had its best sales month during October and November. Now, looking at all this information, you are going to predict a similar behavior for the upcoming years as well, which sounds pretty obvious now, right? Data science, on the other hand, is an umbrella term that encompasses data analysis, data modeling, data mining, machine learning, and other similar disciplines. Data science uses more sophisticated and more complex machine learning algorithms to build predictive models. An example of that would be something that we use in our day-to-day -day lives. Any search engine like Google, Bing, Yahoo, wherever you use, they use data science algorithms to come up with meaningful results for your search query within a fraction of a second. Now, let's talk about their job description or what they do. Data analysts and data scientists, they both work with data. I hope that's clear so far. So they both work with data, but in different ways. While a data scientist is expected to predict future behavior based on past patterns, a data analyst would extract meaningful information from different sources of data. So on a day-to-day -day basis, a data analyst would collect data from different data sources, clean it, reorganize it for data analysis. They would analyze data to find out different trends and patterns that could be translated into some actionable insight. And they're also expected to present their insights or their findings in an easy to understand way so that it influences data-driven decision-making. Whereas a data scientist would also gather clean and process raw data, they would design predictive models and machine learning algorithms to mine big data sets. They're also expected to develop tools and processes to monitor data accuracy. Now, a little bit of data visualization is also included as they're expected to build data visualization tools and reports and dashboards. Finally, and most importantly, data scientists are also expected to write programs to automate the data collection and data processing. Now, let's move on to the third question. What are the skills required to be a data analyst versus a data scientist? So a data analyst would require skills like foundational mathematics and statistics, learning widely used programming languages for data analysis, such as R or Python, and basic SQL skills. If you don't already know about it, SQL is structured query language. It's used to extract data stored in the database. And of course, problem solving and analytical skills will always come in handy because it's called data analysis after all. And you will also need a bit of data visualization skills. So you can again use Python with the right data visualization libraries for that, such as pandas, matplotlib, etc. Or you could also use Excel as a business intelligence tool or other tools such as Power BI for data analysis and visualization. On the other hand, data scientists would need more advanced problem solving analytical, mathematical, and statistical skills. They would also need to attain advanced programming skill because as we discussed before, data scientists are expected to build more complex machine learning algorithms for predictive analysis. So you would need to work on advanced programming concepts such as algorithms, data structures, dynamic programming, object-oriented programming, and many more concepts. In addition to this, it's good to have knowledge about big data tools and techniques such as Hadoop, TensorFlow, and Spark by Apache etc. And again, I would like to stress on the fact that machine learning, data modeling, data mining, and artificial intelligence, they play a vital role in data science to an extent. Now, let's talk about coding. Is coding required to be a data analyst versus a data scientist? But I think you might have already guessed the answer to this question, especially after looking at the skills required for each of these fields. But let me tell you something. You will be often told, and you'll read it at different forums, that data analysts don't code or DAs are not expected to know programming languages. But the truth of the matter is, when you apply for a job, you will be expected to have fluency in at least one of the data analysis programming language used or one of the tools used for data analysis. So my suggestion 
suggestion for you will be as a beginner, you can start with Python because Python is a, is a dynamically typed programming language. It's very easy to learn, very easy to understand, and it's a beginner friendly programming language. Also, you can use Python for other purposes as well other than data analysis. So that will be a good skill to have in your pocket. Now for data scientists, Yes, they have to code, absolutely. And we have already discussed the skills you will require for that, so I'm not gonna go into details again. Now, let's answer the most evaded and the most interesting question, the salary. So for a data analyst, drum roll please, the average number is 80,000 US dollars. And this number is for an entry level job, so jobs for beginners and freshers. And of course, this number can differ from person to person based on your skills, your expertise, and how well you can negotiate. Now for a data scientist, on an average, an entry level position can give you up to 120,000 US dollars. Well, needless I say, it's gonna increase with experience. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope by now you know everything you need to know to start a career in data analysis or data science. If I answered all your questions, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below on how you like the video. I'll see you in the next one.